Hi, I'm John Doherty, and today we're going to talk about the difference between driver versus iron, some setup changes, some backswing changes, some transition changes. So I think this is going to be really helpful, and we're going to start right in with driver setup. I got this stick on the ground. I like to see the ball position on the instep of the left heel, and then we're going to go heel to heel about 18 inches. That may vary based on your size, but definitely get the feet outside the hips. Next, the head. You want to get the head over the right foot. So maybe put a stick down or just look down see that your head is over your right foot when you move the upper body this far to the right this will put the outside edge once you get a grip the outside edge of your left shoulder right in line with the golf ball this is the swing center so with this being behind it we'll get that nice upward strike and get that spin rate down so difference with iron driver stance width's going to come in a little bit so let's say 16 inches maybe drop it in and then ball position will move about five or six inches inside the left heel the head with iron still moving a little right now the outside edge of the right ear should be on that right heel so those are the major differences between driver and iron so not a ton definitely manageable um, now let's go into the backswing so back to driver 18 inches stance with head over the right foot once i make my backswing and turn my back to the target some checkpoints with driver i'm going to keep my head over my right foot danger there would be to start with the head over the right foot and then move the head towards the left so keep the head over the right foot as you turn your back to your target and then allow the left hip to move that left leg and left hip to move into that braced right leg that'll really help transfer the pressure into that right heel now with iron go back to the 16 inches ball position drop back five inches a little different so now with my head just on the instep of the right heel now we're going to be a little bit more centered in the backswing so now as i load up i'm definitely going to make sure my left hip left leg moves into that braced right leg and now my head is going to be moving actually at the very top towards the target so i'm going to start heading towards this left heel line at the top where the driver that head stayed still the iron now with that right ear starting on the instep of the right heel as we start to go up to the top we're going to start to center back over towards the left heel because we're heading that way here in a second in transition all right now talking about driver transition so with the head over the right foot left leg left hip braced in the driver transition we're going to flex both knees slightly and open the hips but the big difference is the left hip in transition will be level with the right hip or slightly up with the left hip with iron it's going to be completely different so now with iron with me not being over my right foot and turned anymore with me being more centered the big difference between iron versus driver in transition is you're going to want that lead knee to flex and get into the ground and get that left hip now lower than the right in both cases the next position is going to be the blast off or extension phase and that's going to be where we push off with the lead knee the hips will go forward and upper body will go back in the finish same thing with driver and you can test your flexibility here keep your head over your right foot open the hips keep the head over the right foot now here comes the extension phase try to keep your head back over even let it go farther back let it move farther back in the impact and then in the finish see if you can keep your head back over your right foot as the hips go forward get on a one of those workout balls stretch that back backwards all right there's some simple things to look at between driver and iron i hope it really helps and we'll see you next time